How's it going boys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at the top 5 strikers in La Liga in FIFA 22. Diamond D is what they call me. Hit that sub so you too can become a stud. And now let's look at the number 5 best striker in La Liga and it's Morientes, Fernando Morientes to be specific. He's costing around 145,000 coins on Xbox, 134 on PlayStation, 84 pace, 8, 90 shooting, 77 passing, 83 dribbling, and 86 physical. This guy is a demon when it comes to shooting, very good shooting stats, and very good jumping and a very good heading accuracy. 92 jumping, 96 heading accuracy. I've used this guy in my main team. He scores a lot from corners, he scores a lot from free kicks, and his right foot is dangerous. And he can also shoot and score from his left foot. He does have a four star weak foot and the man has four star skills, which come in handy. Now he's not the most agile player, but what you can do to fix that is you can throw an engine on him. And just like that, he goes to 82 agility and 84 balance and 94 dribbling. Um, I played him with an engine in my main team. I didn't really notice that much of a dribbling boost. But it is decent. His dribbling is decent to say the least. He'll do you the job. He can do skill moves in the box. Um, but nothing too crazy as he does only have 82 agility. Um, his pace is, is decent. It's not... He's not the fastest, but he gets the job done. He will score you goals. That's something I can promise you. If you use Morientes, he will score you goals, okay? If you just need goals, Morientes is perfect. And he's fairly cheap for, 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 for a hero. He's not the most expensive. He's not cheap. He's not the cheapest striker you can get, but for a quality striker, this isn't a bad price. And you can also throw a hunter on him and the shooting and pace goes insane. But I do recommend you put an uh, engine on him just because the agility without a, without without the engine, the agility is just not there. And the balance isn't there either. So for the fifth best striker in La Liga, we have Morient. Now at number four, we have Kareem the Dream, Big Body Benz, I used to be Dusty, Kareem Benzema. He come, he's coming in a 79 pace, 90 dribbling, 88 shooting, 84 passing, 80 physical, and 41 defending. But this is if he did the player of the month. If he didn't do the player of the month, I would still put this in form at the same level. He's still the fourth best striker in the Liga. Um, I haven't used this player of the month. I have used this team of the week and it's absolutely nuts. But for the sake of the video, we're gonna talk about the player of the month. He has four star, four star. What's really crazy about this card is he has finesse shot trait, which is amazing. I love it. And another thing about this card, he has very, very, very good passing. I love the passing on this card. He gets very, uh, he gets lots of assists from me. He pl I play him in my main team. And uh, that's due to the fact he has an 89 short passing, 76 long passing, good curve. Um, good crossing good vision his vision is very good he sends over the through balls like nobody's business very good shooting um he has 92 finishing on this card 87 shot power decent long shots great volleys great pens great positioning his pace is obviously what holds this card back but he's more of like um a target man than someone who's be going in behind and just chasing after balls his shooting dribbling and passing is insane i recommend you guys do play him with uh, a hunter he goes up to 89 pace 94 shooting amazing with a hunter kareem benzema is out of this world one of the, my favorite cards to play with this year very reliable very good shooting very good passing he gets lots of goals lots of assists and i think he's a lot better than morientes morientes out of these five is like right here and the rest of these are like up here like there's like this much of a difference all right morientes doesn't compare with the next four or the next three after benzema i really rate benzema and the next guy is someone who might surprise some of you guys. All right, at number three, we have Road to the Knockout, Alexander Isaac. Now I put him in front of Benzema because he is cheaper. He's 87,000 coins. Uh, Benzema's team of the week is going for around 150,000 coins. So he's much cheaper, almost half the price of Benzema. And his stats are absolutely insane. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 83 dribbling, 73 passing, 77 physical. This guy is six foot four, four star five star the five star weak foot is amazing i love it he doesn't have many traits um he has flair though which is nice um his dribbling 83 agility 869 balance that might turn some people off but let me tell you it's actually it's actually not bad i use him in game he's my top scorer and i do lots of skill moves with him he's very silky i don't know why these stats are lies these stats are lies he feels much more agile in game good ball control good dribbling his shooting is amazing 87 finishing 90 positioning 88 shot power 81 long shots volleys are great he's fast very fast and his passing is not the best i'll be the first to admit not very good passing but he'll do you the job 
great heading accuracy. He only has 79 jumping, but he has 6'4", so how high do you really want him to jump? He's already all the way up there. If you throw 100 on in this card, it looks absolutely cracked. 98 pace, 92 shooting, almost max pace. Look at the finishing, 97 finishing, he scores everything. When I tell you Isaac scores everything, Isaac scores everything. My favorite striker in this game, and there's something special about this card. This card has the ability to be upgraded. So we could see an 87 rated version of this card. And if Real Saucy did really kill it, we could see an 88 version of this card. But I'm not sure if that's possible at this point. But he probably most definitely will get upgraded. So we could probably see him go from maybe 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 87 shooting, 75 passing, maybe 80 physical. It would be nice, but you definitely will get upgraded. So this card will get better. That's why I put it in front of uh, Benzema because this card will get better. I love this card. I can't recommend him enough. All right, at number two, we have the new rule breaker, Luis Suarez. And he's going for around 620,000 coins right now. Very expensive. And honestly, I don't think he's that worth it. He is better than Benzema and Isaac, but I'd probably tell you just to buy one of those two, Benzema and Isaac. This guy's crazy stupid expensive 90 pace 87 shooting 86 passing 87 dribbling 86 physical the stats are amazing okay but what holds this card back is a three star four star the four star weak foot is passable it's okay it's a three star skills you just don't want to see that on on, on a striker uh, louis suarez has always had four star skills in fifa i don't know why they gave him three star this year um if you throw a hunter on him holy shit throw a hunter on him this card's amazing 99 finishing 95 positioning uh volleys are maxed out great penalties great sprint speed great acceleration great vision great crossing great passing very good passing on this card great curve a decent agility too 83 agility 84 balance and amazing ball control amazing dribbling good composure great stamina he can't really jump because the heading accuracy is there and he's very very strong this is the overall perfect number nine like you don't really need anything better than this for number nine i just think for the value you'd probably be better off going with isaac or benzema uh, with an engine you can boost his agility and balance um it's up to you if you're fine with the 87 shooting and you think his shooting's already cracked enough you could throw an engine on him but um i'd probably throw a hunter on him just to make that shooting go to the next level um this card will not miss if you get him in front of net he will not miss for you. Luis Suarez is absolutely goaded. An amazing player in real life. I really like him. I'm a Barca fan. So love Suarez. But for 628,000 coins, I think you're better off going with Benzema or Isaac. At number one, we have the best striker in La Liga, and it is Yao Felix. It's his new numbers up card. A uh, new promo FIFA started this year. 90 pace, 90 dribbling, 84 shooting, 81 passing, 73 physical, 5 star, 4 star. The 5 star skills is what really pushes him into the first place, and he has ability to get upgraded. So he will go to 99 pace. This card, oh, 99 pace. Just keep that in mind. Uh, 92 dribbling, 86 shooting, 83 passing and 75 physical. Um, it could go a little bit higher than that. I'm not quite sure how it works, but he will have 99 pace. That's what I know for sure. And if we throw a hunter on him, look at this guy, 99 pace, 91 shooting, 81 passing with 90 dribbling. He's very, very silky, 90 agility, a great ball control, great reactions, great dribbling, great composure. The shooting is amazing. The pace is amazing, but as you guys know, he will already get max pace. So what you could do is you could throw something like a dead eye on him. If you wanted to boost the shooting and passing because the pace is going to be 99, you could throw something like a finisher. I'd probably throw a finisher on him once he gets a 99 pace, because look at that. A 99 agility, 88 balance, 99 dribbling, 99 finishing, 95 shot power, 85 long shots, 96 volleys, 94 positioning with 99 pace, which he eventually will get, would be amazing. This is the best striker in the Liga, hands down. Decent traits, flair, outside foot shot, technical dribbler, playmaker. Not sure what technical dribbler and playmaker do, but they look pretty nice. Um, He is expensive though. That's the thing with Yao Felix, but rightfully so. 710,000 coins for a card that can get upgraded and will go to 99 pace. I think that's pretty fair. Um, for value-wise, it's decent. I, I'm sure he's amazing in game. The stats are crazy. Five-star skills. You can't go wrong with Yao Felix. Those are the top five strikers, and we have an honorable mention, and that's Memphis Depay. You could also play this card at Cam, but he is he's pretty good, man. I would throw a Hunter on him. Stats are looking, looking really nice. 93 pace, 91 shooting. Good dribbling, good passing, good physicals. He's more of... 
maybe a cam i would say um but you can play my striker it can wear striker whatever you want he can actually play both and for 44,000 coins that's kind of a bargain very very good card i like this memphis Depay card and he's five star skills does have a three star weak foot which could turn some people off but with the good traits, uh, outside for shot, flare, long shot taker, playmaker, technical dribbler, he's definitely an honorable mention. All right, boys, those were the five players. We had at number five, Morientes. At number four, we had Benzema. Then we had Isaac. And then we had Luis Suarez. And then finally, Yao Felix. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any other kinds of videos like these you want me to make, just let me know. And I'll get them out to you as fast as I can. All right, I'll see you guys next time, boys. Peace.